my first reaction when I hear somebody is dead is not what tribe did it. You know, for, for, for the first thing I do is pray for them. You know, I lost, as I said, I lost two siblings in the midst of four years. I don't take death as, you know, that's the line for me. There was an idiot cleric, now a, a, a Muslim cleric, that came out and wished Her Excellency the First Lady, uh, um, Senator Emi Tinebu, to die, you know. He came out to apologize later. I certainly hope the DSS are not taking his apologies. Only in this country that you see something like that and come out and apologize. But look, Sheon, again, let me get back to my dear friends, the obedience. A fire happens and you have human beings coming out and saying, who did those people vote for? An explosion occurs in Ibadan, in Oyo State. And your first reaction as a human being is to say, the people that got burnt, who did they vote for? Are those people that speak like that human beings to you? Just because Nigeria is in a tough state, so? So we need to reject. I, I'm the first to come out and say leaders have failed. I'm sorry, we have some horrible citizens and we need to engineer. Of course, the first step to sort that out is something you said in your last show. That if we want the citizens to trust us, then maybe it's high time we stop flying. We stop throwing parties. You know, we sacrifice together, but we have to do it together. But there are bad people around. You know, it's been bothering me. They are lucky I've retired. So you're concerned about uh, the obedience and the manner in which No, not just go. obedience. I just use them as an example. I like provoking them. But it's just our people. We've lost a sense of compassion and humanity. You if somebody like, dies, I'm not going to ask them, did he vote for Tinubu? I'm worried he died. I'm worried how his family feel. Like looking for the obedience trouble. Yeah, they they, they used to like me. They've missed. They don't touch me as. <laughs> but as as a representative of the people of yeah. uh, of your constituency, what would you say is perhaps the most urgent need? And are you able to level up to be able to stand up and come up to uh, be there? You say you don't like Messiahs, but no, yeah, <laughs> the voice that speak for yeah, Well, the irony, Ebo, I like that you mentioned that they are trying to portray me as that Messiah. Now, I was telling her yesterday that sometimes I go out on myself by way to say no, I wouldn't do it, and everybody knows, you know, if when you, at the grassroots level, everybody knows I have a reputation that no, if Bello says no, is no. You know, as I said, every day I hear calls. One guy wants to a, 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 an important stakeholder that claims he delivered me, will say he wants to add a second wife. That's not my problem. That's why I don't believe in polygamy. We know my father has three wives. But secondly, that is not my job. I know very well that if I give you money to add a second wife, by the way, you're adding to a problem. You know, you, you add to children, I'll be the one to pay for their school fees. So I don't want those problems. I have enough in so my So you're a man of ma one man, no, one no, wife. I, that's no, no. that's yeah, your own philosophy. I, I try to do that. <laughs> But I, I thought you said your your father is your mentor. Yeah, yeah no. But I, I, in, I, in that I, area, I say it's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so in that area, ma no, ma maritally, you, know, you, no, you no, wouldn't no, follow no, his footsteps. No, no, no. I, I don't. I, I, you know, I, 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 I'm a bit. I have a. I don't want to say a white boy tendency, but I do. You know, but that's not even the point. I know myself. I know what I can take. So I don't start things I can't take, even fights. I don't, you know, if I know I won't win a fight, I don't go in, you know. But to, to my people, uh, Sean, um, I ran on a few things. I ran on a few things. You know, we rolled out our website before we got elected. We started, my people wanted scholarships. They wanted jobs, which is not my job. So I have to educate them on that. They wanted scholarships, they wanted jobs, and they wanted to go to hospitals and be able to play basic fees, health fees. Fortunately, one of the things my father did with the deputy, his deputy governor, Dr. Adiza, who was the first um, female elected deputy governor in Nigeria, um, was to revamp the 255 primary health care centers in Kaduna. So all I need to do is go to a ward and collect the data of, let's say, the people in Ikeja ward and say that whenever they come, you know, we also did a lot of work with NIN and they proved that they are from the ward. They could get their malaria test and things, you know. Um, so I've tried to stick to the plan. But what, what's the primary job of a legislator? Oversight and law, law drafting. That's it. It's just over time that you or Nigerians through constituency projects to us. As I said, it's Ramadan now. 
even on the way here i was messaging to ensure i have two trailers of rice i'm an elrofai i don't believe in populism i believe in market forces i believe in cutting costs but now i know the poverty okay i'm not even doing it for votes i know that there are people that need food i know i can call people and ask for food i will and i know i will deliver the food and the people i will tell to deliver the food know that under my representation if you like go and hide the rice i will come to your house and bring it out do so you, that's what we're trying to do do you find it that